Welcome to Focus on the Falls. I'm John Merck here. Super excited. You can see we're kind of, I guess this is the dressing room here at the high school, just off the auditorium. And we are talking drama and why it's important, why it's a good part of our community and an important part of our educational system. I'm joined today by, right next to me is Cole Bugel. He's a sophomore. Gigi Carlino is in the middle. And then Ginger uh, Foster is next to Chris Budish. So Ginger, Gigi, Cole, all sophomores. Chris is the TD here at the high school program and he's on the board for Falls Patio Players. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. I'm excited to have you guys here. So as we sit here, you're prepping for Christmas Carol. I want to start with broad questions and we'll talk about some of the actual stuff that you guys have done. Cole, I'll start with you. When you think of drama, when you think of acting, when you think of being involved in the arts, why is it important? Uh, I think it's important because it gives people a place to be themselves. It gives them a place to feel home and it gives them a second family. Gigi, what do you get out of being involved in, in drama and in acting? Um, you get to meet lots of different people from all over Wisconsin and it gives you a great opportunity to make a lot of good friends and like theater at the high school especially like most of my really good friends came from that theater department and so it really just is like a good place to go after like a hard day in school. Do you get nervous? when you're on stage or do you fall into this is where I belong and I'm here? Um, I get nervous like before I go on stage but then like once I'm there, <laughs> once I'm there, I'm not nervous anymore. So like once I'm out there and there's like an audience, I, I'm not nervous. So. so Ginger, students can choose a lot of different things to do yeah. and you choose that drama is one of the things that you want to do. Why? Why drama? I feel like having an outlet for stress is a very fundamental part of how you like, can grow as a person. Um, I think that choosing drama can give you a lot of new opportunities and new horizons on how you can express yourself. And I think it's important to understand self-expression and really get into that. Okay, so I know it's a lot of fun for you guys, but it's also a lot of work. Ginger, talk to me about the commitment you need to make and the work that happens, because after school, weekends, it's more than just when we see you having a great time up on the stage, right? Yeah, so when we're choosing to go into out-of-school theater, um, we're making a very big commitment. Um, a lot of the times the rehearsals will go pretty late into the night. For Christmas Carol we go 6.30 to 9.30 and other um, like establishments they can go later or start earlier and end earlier but um, with the commitment you also have to make a lot of scheduling changes and you have to be able to accommodate your schedule. Like I'm in a company of kids. I've been in the group for six years and, <clears throat> sorry, I'm doing a show with First Stage down in Milwaukee this, um, uh, like, December, mm -hmm. and uh, I had to stop doing um, A-OK -okay for a short period of time because of time commitment and scheduling because I don't want to miss a lot of rehearsals. Cole, let me ask you about that juggling. So, I mean, there's obviously still homework. Mm -hmm. There's still other things you need to do. There's family stuff. There's different drama commitments. How do you juggle it all and keep it all straight and still do a good job? when you're trying to be in the moment? Um, I have to have a very strict schedule. So I will block out a bunch of stuff on my schedule. So I have like an hour for homework here, and then I have rehearsal, and then I have driver's ed or something. Uh, so it's a lot of very strict scheduling, but it's also having wiggle room for different things that come up. Yeah, Gigi, I was gonna ask you. So you need to be scheduled, and you need to be organized, but you also need time to like breathe, right? Time where you can just yeah. chill a little bit. How do you balance all that? Um, well, like, I kind of agree with like what they were saying. Like I definitely have like a very like, s like schedule that I have to stay on. Um, like I have like an assignment notebook and there I write down everything, like time scheduling, when I'm gonna do my homework and like, I have to really use like study halls and stuff very wisely because like that time is very valuable mm -hmm. when you're busy, so. So Chris, you're involved in community theater and the theater here in the school district. Yep. When people ask you what the value is of making sure we keep a vibrant, healthy drama program in the community and in our district, what do you tell them? So it's two different answers, right? Um, when it comes to the community, uh, I find arts in the community to be valuable. It, it's good for people to see. It's good for the community to have creative outlets. Um, you know. The audience gets a lot of fulfillment from coming to see a live performance, but the performers do as well, right? Like having a vibrant arts community in a community uh, keeps the community whole, keeps it vibrant, keeps them communicating. Um, it, it's what goes from being just a group of people to a community. Um, in the high school and, and the educational setting, I find that uh, 
performing arts and theater in particular um, fill an additional role. Um, not everybody wants to be an athlete, right? Um, but there's still a place in your life for finding something that you can do together and work together on. You know, that team aspect that we talk about with sports all the time, right? Theater does that in spades. You can't put up a show by yourself. Um, it also gives students a creative outlet that they're not going to get in, you know, history, English, math. Um, and the other, the last thing, particularly at the high school level that I see is it's often an opportunity for students to explore whether or not this is a career they might want to pursue. Um, they, as they get to the end of their high school career, they're picking like, am I going to go to college? What am I going to do for the rest of my life, right? Um, and a lot of those decisions get made in high school. And without this experience, you can't include that in your, your thinking. Chris, talk about how rewarding it is when you see teams of students or teams in the community that have prepped and practiced and they're ready and then they're up there doing their thing and people are enjoying it. How rewarding is that? Take us inside that thought. Um, I, on the technical side of things, I'm never on the stage. People are like, why do you do it? I'm like, well, you know, I enjoy it, right? But the best moments for me are the moments when I'm sitting uh, in the back of an audience uh, watching the audience react to these really well prepared performers and like there's in every show there's a moment where the audience is just leaning in and engaged with everything that's happening on stage they've forgotten everything else that's going on around them and they're in that moment and getting to watch that happen over and over uh, for performers that have just poured their hearts out is it's really satisfying to see Ginger, talk about that moment when that's happening and that's going on and you're on stage and your hard work is playing out and there's an audience that's really enjoying it. Can you talk about what those moments are like when you look out there? It feels very surreal to me. Um, you know, we put a lot of sh uh, work into the show and a lot of effort and seeing all of that really like, come to fruition is actually achieving something. It's, it feels very fulfilling. Gigi, I know it's fun, but is it stressful? Is it... Do you get nervous? Do you get tense? What's it like right before the show starts? And then what's it like once you're up there and it's unfolding? I definitely feel like I get my most nervous like right before I go on, but then like when you get out there and like the audience is like appreciating it and like I just like that like in theater you can take people away from like whatever they're struggling with. Like even if it's just for an hour, if it's for two hours, however long the show is, they forget what's happened earlier in their day and they're just engaged in what's happening right now. And I guess that, that feeling just feels very fulfilling. And it just feels like you're, like you said, like accomplishing something and like the hard work that like you put in is really paying off. And then I just remember why I do it and I don't get nervous anymore. Do you feel like it takes you away? Do you get to escape and be somewhere else and be doing something else? Like it's almost like an out-of-body experience. Do you feel like you get to also escape and, and leave the world behind? Yeah, definitely. I think that it really gives me a chance to like, like at school, like I kind of like joke around, like I have like two personalities. It's like my, my <laughs> school one where I don't really talk much and then like my one like at theater where like, I'm very bubbly and very talkative. So it just kind of gives me a chance to like be with people who are very kind and caring and like it, be in a very positive environment. And it just gives everyone an opportunity to feel really safe in their theater. And so yeah, I definitely think it feels very surreal. Cole, I watch you guys interact, and it's like you're, I know you're friends, but you're like a little family. It's, it's so cool to watch you guys interact. How important is that family aspect, that community aspect amongst you that are working on a project together? Uh, it's very important because if you're on stage and you're with someone who you don't really know, you might not give off the same energy, and then it will drag. And the one thing you don't want is dead air. Uh, yeah, you're right. It's not fun at all. Uh, so it's very important to have a strong relationship with every single person you're on stage with. Yeah. Chris, I, I, you mentioned athletics. This is like a team sport too, isn't it? Is, are there lessons to be learned in the theater about teamwork, camaraderie, relationships? Um, yeah. You don't really put up a production in a high school setting without bringing the high school nature of it, right? Like high school students can be... Uh, can be sometimes more emotional. They've got a lot of things going on in their lives. They're learning a lot. They're thinking about a lot. Um, but when you get onto the stage, you have to put on a production. You have to put on something that people want to watch, right? Um, and that is carried entirely on the shoulders of the performers, right? It doesn't, you know, if you're not getting along and that comes across on stage, that's a problem. Um, people are going to see that. That changes the nature of the show. So um, I find that 
kids that go through a theater program do very well um, in almost every aspect of their life later on because they've learned to work so well uh, as a team or as a group. Um, and whether or not they like each other. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, let's talk about Christmas Carol. So Christmas Carol is coming up. You guys are all in Christmas Carol, right? Yes. What is it about Christmas Carol, which most people are familiar with, that makes it so special, Cole? Uh, so our Christmas Carol yes. in particular was written just for the false patio players. Oh, cool. Uh, so we have original music, uh, our own sets, wow. uh, costumes made by Roger Bocek, who passed away last October. Um, so it's all like for him and just, it's so special because so many people have been doing it for so many years that people just keep coming back. So Gigi, you'll be doing this with people in the community, older people, not just your student friends. What's it like to, to marry those two things together? Um, it's really nice to be able to like branch out and meet new people who have the same like interests as you. And it definitely just like gives you a new light and stuff. And it just, I just feel like what's very special about that is like everyone there is so close to each other. So like it really feels like a community in and of itself. And like, there's just like something really magical about that show. And I just feel like being with people that you don't normally see all the time also makes it really special mm -hmm. because it's like those people, you might only see them once a year. And that makes it really special to have that experience with them every year. Ginger, what is it about Christmas Carol that's special? For me, I mean, this is my first year involved with False Patio Players, but for me, I was very much drawn to how traditional it is. It's um, like more in the sense that people often make it a tradition to go see the Christmas Carol, which is something that my family has done for a while. And I just adored the way the Falls Patio Players um, portrayed this story. <clears throat> I'm a fan of like literature, and I've read the book, and I was blown away about the portrayal, and I just, I love the productions that the Falls Patio Players um, does, so I wanted to see if I could involve myself with that. Okay, so you guys can be in any musical production in the world. We're going to launch the production, it's going to be on Broadway, and you guys get a role in it. Which production do you want to be in? Cole, I'll start with you. Um, I would be in the musical Parade. Uh, it's a very relevant story, and I love the music, written by Jason Robert Brown, who's my favorite composer. Yeah. Parade. That sounds cool. That sounds fun. Gigi. Um, I love Mamma Mia. I've always, oh my gosh. I've always loved <laughs> Mamma Mia, so... <laughs> yeah. I just went to Greece and uh, we saw some of the sites where like Mamma Mia was based and Mamma Mia would be really, really fun. Ginger. Um, mine's more of a silly answer. Um, I would like to be in the Lightning Thief musical, which is like a <laughs> Percy Jackson um, <laughs> musical, but I was a big fan of the series as a kid and I still very much am. And I just love, I love the music. I love the, just everything about it. All right, Chris, we're putting on any production and you can be part of it here in the falls. What, what would you like to bring to life on the stage? So I have acted in the past. Um, if we're talking about Broadway musicals, uh, I would love to play Man in Chair in The Drowsy Chaperone. Um, it's a really unique <laughs> role. Um, also doesn't require a beautiful singing voice. So, um, um, from a technical perspective, I would love it if uh, The Greatest Showman was made into a stage oh, musical. That would um, be cool. It would be, I think it'd be a ton of fun to put on. It's a great story, some great uh, history behind it. Um, so. We could get Hugh Jackman to come here so, right. to the falls. I think it'd be, Why wouldn't he's he? not doing anything right. Exactly. <laughs> I love talking with you guys. This is so much fun. We we're, we're, have a wealth of the arts here in Menominee Falls, in the schools and in the community, and it's such, such important stuff. Is now the time where we get to put the costumes on and dance? <laughs> Should we do that now? I know. I mean. All right, maybe next time. Okay. Uh, Chris, Ginger, Gigi, Cole, thanks so much for being with us on Focus on the Falls.